In this video, we'll discuss prime numbers. In a previous video, we discussed what factors are, and prime numbers are numbers of only two distinct factors, meaning one and itself. Now, the number one is not a prime number because it only has one factor, which is itself. But other prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, um, and so forth. So look at the factors of two. All of the numbers that can go into two without a remainder is one and two. And in three, it is one and three. And notice we skipped the number four because the numbers that can go into four is one, two, and four itself. So four has three factors, but the prime number only has two distinct factors. Then next we have the number five and the numbers that can go into five is one and five. And we skipped six because the numbers that can go into six is one, two, three, and six itself. So it has more than two factors. So all of these values in the list, two, three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, and 19, only has two factors, one and itself. So a fun way to learn all of the prime numbers between one and 100 is to have a number table from one to 100. And what we want to do is identify all the factors of other numbers. For example, if I ask you what are the factors of 10, it's this whole row, and we can ignore that list because these are not prime numbers, these are multiples of 10. Then all of the numbers below two, but not including two, are multiples of two. So those are not prime numbers. All of the numbers below four and including four, we can ignore because those are multiples of two. All of the numbers below six are multiples of two and all of the numbers below eight are multiple of two. So the prime numbers in our first row is two, three, five, and seven. Notice we have ignored one because one is not a prime number and we ignore nine because nine is a multiple of three. And we can continue doing this exercise by identifying multiples of other numbers and factors to cancel them out. So for example, all of the numbers below five, we can cancel out because these are multiples of five. Next, what we can try and do is find multiples of seven. So if I count in seven, I have seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42 is already out, 49, 56 is already out. So I'm simply counting in seven. Then 63, 70 is already out, 77, 84, 91, and 98. So those are all the multiples of seven between one and 100. Next, we already have the multiples of five. So let us take out the multiples of three. So I count in threes. And we can do this quickly. So it'll be 27, 33, 39, 57, 69, 81, 93, and 99. And now all of the numbers that we haven't highlighted, oh, these would be prime numbers. So prime numbers are numbers with a factor of one and itself. Notice that all the prime numbers are uneven numbers. They are not even numbers because those are multiples of two. And you would notice that we have ignored multiples of seven, which is an uneven number. And we've ignored multiples of three. We already did multiples of five at the start. So all of the numbers encircled are your prime numbers from one to 100.